friend despite all the past successes today i want to remind the world about a few things there are many harmful globalized threats that the world faces terrorism corruption drug trafficking poaching and organized crime the pace of change of this dangers is faster than earlier when threats are global the response cannot be just local it is time and it is high time that the world comes together to defeat these threats friends india has been committing transnational terrorism for several decades long before the world woke up to it we knew the price of safety and security thousands of our people made the ultimate sacrifice in this fight but it is no longer enough that terrorism is fought only the physical space it is now spreading its presence through online radicalization and cyber threats at the click of button an attack can be executed or systems can be brought to their knees each nation is working on strategies against them but what we do within our borders in our longer enough there is need to further develop international strategies establishment of early detection and warning systems protecting transportation services security for communication infrastructure security for critical infrastructure technical and te technological assistance intelligence agents many of the things need to be taken to a new level friends some of you may have be thinking why i spoke of corruption as a dangerous threat corruption and financial crimes have harm the welfare of the citizens of many countries the corrupt find a way to power the process of crime in different parts of the world this money belongs to the citizen of the country from which they have been taken often this has been taken from some of the poorest people in the world further it is such money that is pushed into evil activities this is one of the major source of terror funding from illegal drugs and that destroy your life to human trafficking from weakening democracies to the sale of illegal arms this dirty money funds many destructive enterprises yes there are diverse legal and procedural framework to deal with them however there is a need for the global community to work even faster to eliminate safe havens there can be no safe havens for the corrupt terrorists drug cartels poaching gangs or organized crime such crimes against people in one place are crimes against everyone crimes against humanity further this not only harm our present but also impact our future generations police and law enforcement agencies need to devise procedures and protocols to increase cooperation interpol can help by speeding up of red corner notices for fugitive offenders friends a safe and secure world is our shared responsibility when the forces of good cooperate 
the forces of crime cannot operate.